Hey guys, welcome to another Q&A slash self-love Wednesday video. I hope you guys are all having a great week so far. I feel great. This week, actually, I've had a really good week. A better week than I had last week, matter of fact. So, hope you guys did as well. Which leads me to the challenge that I said you guys should try. And I think that's why my week was really good. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. Hey guys, again, sorry, that was my boyfriend, quick, sort of quick I guess, yeah, quick call, but I apologize for the interruption, I, like I was saying, I think I was saying that I loved the challenge, I want to hear about how you guys did on the challenge, no one really left any questions or comments about the challenge, but I hope those of you who did try it liked it, and those of you who didn't, I hope you do try it. I'm going to try and make this challenge a habit, and it really helped me this week. Saying 10 positive things to myself and forcing myself to say them every day really helped me. I just didn't doubt myself as much throughout the day, and I felt happier, and I... Yeah, I hope you guys have some positive things happen to you as well. But moving on, I'm going to jump straight into the questions, straight into them. There were a few, and yeah, because I don't want these videos to be too long. I want them to be a conversation between us two, but not too long, because I know a lot of people get irritated with long videos. So, yeah. The first question is, which character would you compare yourself to the most in Crystal Croon? And what about your boyfriend? Do you base characters off of him or anyone? So that's a really, that's gonna, I'm gonna have a detailed answer, I guess. <laughs> because I do base characters off of a lot of people in my life. Or just people that I've, not in my life now, but people that I've known. Or characteristics that I've seen in people. So... Yeah, specifically, I would say, I don't know, about every character, like if I have an actual name for the person that's in my life, but I know that people that I've come across, I do, you know, I use everything in my life towards my writing, but when it comes to main characters, I would say that there are some characteristics or... I don't know, hobbies or gifts that are the same. Like Crystal Croon, those of you who don't know or who didn't watch me when I first started my channel, I went to culinary art school before I started my major in bio and psych. So my passion is cooking. And Crystal Croon loves to cook and she has a restaurant and she's a chef. So I guess that. And then also Bren because she has her own publishing company and she has written a few books and I love writing. If I had to choose writing and cooking or between the two I couldn't. They are equally my loves so I love to do both of them the same. And if I had to choose another character I probably could go on and on and choose something about each person but I would say mainly April's shyness because I used to be really, really shy. If I had to rate my shyness from 1 to 10, 10 being the most shy and 1 being the least shy, I would have been a 12 of how shy I was. And now I'm probably a 5, like in between, or uh, maybe a good 5.5, or maybe a 4, depending on who you talk to about me. But, yeah, I'm glad I've grown out of that, but that part when it comes to April being shy, especially when it comes to guys. So, yeah. And then when it comes to my boyfriend, I would say, I don't know, first, the first character I really tried to put some of his attributes into was Jacob. Not the cheating and all of that, but him being so sweet and loving and caring and him being a 
artist because my boyfriend is a musician and Jacob is too. So that part, you know, so, but yeah, mainly just because he's loving and caring and also just, I guess I should just say at first it was just Jacob, but then as a whole, all the sweet things and all of the love and care that all, a lot of the guys in the show show the girls or the women, yeah, I base off of my boyfriend and just how I think guys should treat women. So I hope that answers that question. And the next question is maybe someday you can make a video where you show yourself. I don't have a good camera. I know that's probably like a lame excuse to some of you guys, but I don't. And I'm very camera shy. I love being behind the camera. I love taking pictures of everyone and everything, but I don't like being in front of the camera. And if I had to be in front of the camera, I'd like it to be good quality. So, yeah. I was thinking if I ever got to 3,000 subscribers, God willing, you know, if that ever happened, I would do a self-reveal video. But if that hasn't happened, then, you know, so be it. So, yeah. But I hope that answered that question, too. And then I think that there's two more questions. The next question is, what should I do to make others view me as nice or a good role model? I personally think that, for at least for me, in my life, a lot of people used to think that I was very mean. I know, it's probably hard for a lot of you guys to believe, but a lot of people used to think that I was very mean, and it's because a lot of what I'm feeling shows in my facial expressions, but mainly in my tone of voice. So, they, like, they thought that I was being mean if I sounded sarcastic. I'm just a sarcastic person sometimes, so a lot of people take that the wrong way, and I had to learn that the hard way, I would say, just because I would just talk and be myself and people would take me wrong or think that I was coming off differently than I wanted to, so I really had to take a step back and think about how I was saying things, and my stepmom always told me it's about about how you say it, not what you say, so I learned that, and it's true. It's about how you say things, not what you say, because I was saying good things, you know, but they weren't coming off as genuine good things because of my tone. So, yeah, you could look at your tone and how you say things, and also just, I don't know, I think it's always good to have a filter when it comes to people's feelings because if you wouldn't want someone to just bash your character, don't bash someone else's character, or, you know, just the regular day-to-day -day things. So if you want someone to view you as a nice person, I would say just be yourself, completely be yourself, but at the same time, keep the other person's feelings in mind and, or just your tone in mind, you know, so... And if it's your actions that you're worried about, I don't know, treat people how you want to be treated, which you probably already do. So, yeah. And when it comes to the good role model part, I would say if you have a role model in your life that you look up to, look at that person and see their attributes and all of that. And see what you have that you like about yourself that you think someone would look up to and work on those things. And, you know, all of us are trying to better ourselves I would think you know we're all trying to better ourselves so if you see something in that in your role model that you aspire to be like but not like them but some attributes about them that you like that you aspire to have you know maybe work on them or work on your own attributes that are like theirs if that makes any sense but for the most part, just stay genuine, think about your tone, and treat people how you want to be treated, and stay true to your morals, especially when it comes to being a role model. Hope that answered that question. And the last question is,
what gives you determination to continue to put yourself out there because that's one thing I struggle with is putting myself out there completely from fear of criticism or rejection I personally yes can relate to this question I have always been a determined person but I never did it outwardly how I do now like I talk and I have a YouTube channel and all of that before, like I said in a previous question, that I was very shy, and my boyfriend was the one who told me to start a YouTube channel. I wanted to put my writing out there, but I didn't want to put it out there right away. You know, I was like, no one's going to want to listen to me. So I started with Let's Plays to get myself comfortable. He said that would be a good way, and I tried it. So I eased my way in. I didn't just jump straight into it. So I would say stay true to your gift and what you're trying to put out there on your channel and put yourself out there don't be scared because you never know your potential until you actually put yourself out there and I feel like the things that scare you the most in life are the ones that you're supposed to do like things that are scaring you like to death are the things that you are supposed to try or do because I don't know I just think that it's meant that at least for me in my life that's how it has been and yeah don't be scared love yourself and believe in yourself first off believe in yourself first and the people that are supposed to watch you or listen to what you have to say on your channel will come to your channel without you even, you know, trying at all because you're being yourself. So the right people will come along. And when it comes to fear, criticism, and rejection, well, I just touched on fear, but criticism and rejection are going to come with any territory in your life, day-to-day -day life, YouTube, friends, family, everywhere. You go work. But I feel like the right people accept you, you know? So just like I said, the right people will come to your channel and view your channel. The right people accept you. And the wrong people for you usually reject you. They're not for you. You know, they're not for your life. They're not for your circle of viewers or whatever. They're not your cup of tea, usually, the people that reject you. So it's most of the time it's a good thing that they're rejecting you. It hurts at that point in time, but it's for a reason. And criticism to me, I always don't, I don't always think that criticism is bad. Sometimes it can be good and sometimes it can be bad. But either way, you can learn something from the criticism. So don't always look at it as a bad thing, you know. Look at all of these things as a way to grow. So at least that's what I do. And I don't, I take everything as a grain of salt. I don't let it affect my, me, who I am. Because if you know who you are, no one can change you again. So, and that's what these videos are all about. So I hope that that answered that question. And I would say to you, just stay true to yourself. And don't be scared. Put yourself out there and just believe in it. And it will go where it's supposed to if it's God's will. And that's what I truly believe. And that was the last question, and I'm going to end with this because this video is way longer than I thought it was going to be, and I apologize for that. I'm going to end with the quote that I wanted to say to you guys. So it says, love yourself first, and everything else falls into line. You really have to love yourself to get anything done in this world by Lucille Ball. And I think that that's so true. Loving yourself is the key to everything. So, yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or night, whatever time of day it is when you watch this video, and I will talk to you guys all later, and remember that you guys are all amazing, and stay true to you. Talk to you guys all later.